Today I'm going to walk you through how you can edit an Adobe Rush project in Adobe Premiere. So stick around. What's going on everybody? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. Today I'm going to walk you through how you can take an Adobe Rush project and open it and edit in Adobe Premiere. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now before I open the project in Adobe Premiere, I want to show you the project here I have opened in Adobe Rush. So you can see all the layers that are happening here so that when we bring it to Adobe Premiere, you can see the comparison between the two. Now, before I do that, let me expand the layer so you can see. So I've got the clips layers here and I've got an overlay intro title here. I've also got some music soundtrack in the background. Those were imported from within Adobe Rush, the soundtracks that come provided by Splice. I also have some sound effects happening here, or I should say some short loops. I've also got some sound effects of crickets and things like that. So everything's already set up in this project. So now what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and hit the home button here to get out of the project. And we're going to open up Adobe Premiere. I've opened up Adobe Premiere here and you may think we're going to click on new project or open project because that's what's there. But actually it's much easier than that. We're going to click underneath there. There's a button that says open Premiere Rush project. We're going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to open up the Rush window within here. And we're going to select the project, which is our Dinosaur Valley State Park. We're going to click that and let it go through the process of importing the project. It may take a few minutes, depending how large the project is. And here's the project in Adobe Premiere. It has brought in every single asset that was in Adobe Rush and added it into its own layer. I have each video clip along with the added soundtrack sound effect with it. I also have the overlay here, which is kind of a motion graphic. So as you can see here in my project panel, there is the motion graphic template, which is that title intro. I have the sequence already set up, created for me, and each individual sound effect or soundtrack is there. Along with each video clip that was in Adobe Rush, it is here. Now in Adobe Rush, I actually muted these video clips because I was using the soundtrack. And here, each video clip has the audio track added to it, but actually it's muted within the project itself. So that's pretty cool if I ever wanted to go back and actually add the original audio from those video clips, I can do that if I want. The question is, why would I want to bring an Adobe Rush project into Adobe Premiere? Well, Adobe Premiere has some more advanced features that aren't available in Adobe Rush. Features like certain effects, for example, I have transition clips or uh, settings that I use in Adobe Premiere, which I can't do in Adobe Rush, as well as there's some more advanced color grading available in Premiere Pro, which aren't available in Rush. And Rush has some great color grading tools, but you can really fine tune them in Premiere Pro. And those are just a few examples on why you would bring a Rush project into Adobe Premiere Pro. So the next time you're working on an Adobe Rush project, remember that you could always bring it into Premiere Pro and do some more advanced editing. I hope this video was helpful, something that you can use the next time you're editing your videos. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on the bell to be notified for future videos. And thank you for watching this video. Until next time, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.